asked all the time, who is Ron DeSantis? He's the man who I fell in love with from the moment we met. And he's the dad of three very rambunctious, energetic children. Mamie, our two-year-old little comedian. Madison, our beautiful, sweet five-year-old. And Mason, our four-year-old athlete. But if you want to know who Ron DeSantis really is, when I was diagnosed with cancer and I was facing the battle for my life, he was the dad who took care of my children when I couldn't. Apparently, it's ads like the one you just witnessed that has uh, triggered Trump advisors and others in the MAGA world. The critics are apparently tired of Casey DeSantis mentioning her children on the campaign trail. Now, the video that you just watched was for Ron DeSantis's gubernatorial reelection bid, but she does talk about her kids a lot. It is a regular thing that she does. I don't know why people are offended by it, but apparently, Republicans who are more supportive of Trump over DeSantis are really angry about it. So I want to give you a few examples, starting with this. So Casey DeSantis had put this up on X, earning every vote, fighting for our future, to which failed GOP congressional candidate Mike Crispy responded with Casey DeSantis campaigning. I have a six, five and three year old. I have a six, five and three year old. I have a six, five and three year old. I have a six, five and three year old. Did you know I have a six, five and three year old? <laughs> and apparently Roger Stone, who's a an advisor to Donald Trump jumped in and says, see you next Tuesday, which is the PG way, I guess, of referring to Casey DeSantis as an offensive slur that oftentimes is used mm. toward women in the context of the United States, but is used more liberally and cheekily in um, the UK. I, I like the way that they use it in, in the UK, but here in the United States, it's not as, it's just a lot more offensive here in the US. Now with that said, um, Stone's comment did lead to some backlash on X, but before we get to that, I'm curious what you think was, because I don't know why. They're so angry about this. Here's the thing. Parents are annoying about their totally. kids on the internet. They're supposed That's, to be. It's, 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 it's a fact, but yeah. she's not the only one. She's just like every other parent. So the singling out the nature of this is stupid to me. But, but what I will say in defense of Roger Stone, parents on the internet are freaking insufferable. They won't stop posting pictures. They won't turn every conversation into about how little Joey is such a great kid and so fun and it's so exciting. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm with Roger Stone on that, but the singling out is absurd. And obviously, the name calling it should be beneath somebody his age. I'm not even, I gotta say, I'm not even annoyed by it. There's so many things I can yeah. point to on social media that really bother me. Like couples with matching outfits. Oh my God, get that out of here. No, Stop doing that. I like Stop it. matching your outfit with your girl, fam. Put your foot it. down. Come on, man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Christian loves it. He jumps in it. And that's the other thing. Like, I don't have kids. I'm not going to have kids, but I have a husband I love and a dog I love. And so I talk about them quite often. And every once in a while, viewers will write in and just be like, God, you're so annoyed. Like, stop talking about <laughs> the fact that you have a loving marriage. Oh. <laughs> And it's like, just let me live. Like, let me <laughs> let me just shift my focus briefly no, on the things that live. keep me mentally stable. Okay. We want you to live. We yeah. want you to enjoy yourself. And honestly, Anna, on the inside, I'm not saying this because you're my friend. On the insufferable scale, you're you guys are like at a two. Like, I have people in my life that I follow that I've been tempted to hit that mute button so many freaking times. <laughs> So that's never happened with you guys are like a, a normal amount of like, look, we're together, we're happy, we love each other. It's the, you know, walking to the train together, look, we're <laughs> holding hands, it's Sophie. It's like, what the, like, who needed that? I it's, hear it's, you, it's I hear you. And that, look, parents in general love to brag about their kids, post about their kids. I don't think Casey DeSantis is any different. I don't think that she like stands out as particularly unbearable when it comes to talking about her children. And so DeSantis campaign manager James Uthmeyer condemned Stone's 
attacks against Casey DeSantis saying that this is what we're up against. It would be one thing if these were just crazy people saying nasty things, but they are sanctioned agents of Donald J. Trump. Shame on them, good must prevail. Casey DeSantis is an amazing mom and leader who works tirelessly to help our country. And look, I think this goes beyond Casey DeSantis talking about her kids a lot. I think that like for some reason, she is a a person in particular that really rubs like the Republican establishment the wrong way. I remember there were some hit pieces written about her in Politico. Um, just last year, uh, you know, there were other attacks against her, which we'll get to in a moment. There are other Roger Stone attacks, but they had also called her like Walmart Melania. And she played wow. it off really well by saying like, this is this is actually a giant compliment. Melania is gorgeous. And I thought she handled that perfectly. But Walmart Melania was also like a pretty elitist thing to say, pretty gross, like kind of looking down their noses <laughs> at people who- At Walmart. At Walmart, yeah. yeah. Real I mean, Americans. Yeah, like a lot of normal everyday Americans shop at Walmart. Like why are you looking down your nose at them? But last October, uh, or October of last year in 2022, um, Roger Stone also put this out. If Governor Ron DeSantis challenges Donald Trump, who has made it clear that he will be a candidate in 2024, it would be the most stunning act of ingratitude and treachery in the history of American politics. Like, how dare you challenge Donald Trump with a presidential run? Um, but then as you read it at the bottom, it says, have you ever noticed how much Ron DeSantis' wife, Casey, is like Lady Macbeth? And apparently that was a Shakespearean, they're referencing a Shakespearean character who encourages Macbeth to commit regicide and is later driven to madness herself. Like, just get off her balls, okay? Like, just leave her alone. Like, I don't know why they're so hell bent on going after her. But I honestly haven't seen much from Casey DeSantis that I dislike. She seems like a good mom, she's supportive of her husband, she's there by his side. I don't agree with their politics, obviously. But I also don't agree with the weird unhinged attacks against her as if she's like unusual in what she's doing out no, of the campaign trail. They're being ridiculous, but I, I can understand somebody looking at that ad and the cancer and the kids. There, there was some Meryl Streep to some of those tears it felt like. It felt like she was playing it up for the kids, just a little bit. Of course, a it's a political bit. ad, it's a political just ad. Just a little bit when she the choked. Up about him watching the kids and you know just a little bit, but shouts to her, man. She's she's handling this with grace. Mm -hmm. She's not um taking the bait and and doing a mudslinging contest. She complimented Melania Trump. That's awesome. Good for her, man. If you enjoyed this video, that's because of our members. They make us independent. They make us strong, and they make us honest. Become a member today by hitting the join button below.